Welcome everybody. Uh, January 25th, Hopkinton versus Ashland at the Keefe Aquatic Center. Got a very big crowd here tonight to, to watch two powerhouses of the Tri-Valley League battle it out. Um, second to the last meet of the year. I'm here, this is John Belger. I'm here with Jim Staus. Hi, John. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Good. And uh, we're going to be covering tonight's meet. Uh, they're just getting underway. Um, you can see that they're setting up the lane uh, markers. Jim and I just commented to Jim, I thought they might be doing the diving first, but it seems that they are going to use the standard order and have the diving after the 53. Now, as I understand it, this is a very big meet for Hopkinton relative to their standings in the TVL. Even though they're undefeated, I think this is sort of a must win for them. Yep, yep, I would say that's true. Um, the Ashland is a perennial strong team. And um, we're about to get underway in a, in a minute or two um, with the 200 medley relay. This is a co-ed meet. So what that means to the audience is we'll be seeing uh, boys and girls swimming in the same events. And um, my daughter happens to be not a big fan of the co-ed meets. <laughs> <laughs> How do they manage that with the diving, Jim? Do they? You know what? I, they, generally, what they'll do is they'll just choose their best three divers. Um, and up to this point, it's it's typically been a boy and two girls. Okay. Um, been Reese Donahue, who, who, as you know, is not diving tonight. He's been he's out with some health issues. Yes. Um, so um, it looks like they're going to be going with uh, Maddie Staus. Yep. Lissy Annenberg and uh, and uh, Aaron Howe. Yep. And I guess I, I, I'm going to say it. I, I'm assuming that Maddie, Maddie Stouts is your daughter. She is. <laughs> Last time I checked. Last time you checked. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. And, um, yeah, Maddie has had a very good year um, up to this point, and I'm sure that she's looking forward to the postseason. She is. She actually just uh, just broke her own pool and TVL record uh, in her last dual meet. So she was very excited about that. But I, I'll say that Lissy Annenberg and she have just been going back and forth. Yep. Um, so it's been a great season for the two of them. I think they're both going to do great in the, in the championship part of the season. Yep. Okay, so uh, to line it up for the 200 medley relay, in lane two we have Emily Wee, Sam Richardson, Paul Richardson, and Austin Schofield. Um, lane four of Julia Pillarella, just Justin Buffard, Tiana McCann, Ian Holmes, and it looks like in lane six, Young Joon Kim, Sam Cody, Sean Kelly, and Rachel Zale. This is for the 200 medley relay, which is a 50 yard in each event. So they'll start off. I think it's backstroke. Um, yeah, we'll see on that one. I am. I'm Pretty sure you're yep. right to a backstroke. Yep. I think it goes backstroke, butterfly, breaststroke, freestyle. freestyle I, I okay. think that's the yeah, order. Yeah, that's that makes sense. <coughs> Look for lane two to be a very competitive. Um, oh. Emily Wee is an excellent backstroker. It can't hurt her to be next to a boy right there. Yeah, eventually it should it should even itself out over time, but but the Ashland swimmer is taking a huge lead. Yeah, I understand this Ashland team has a couple of very good boys. Oh, uh, it's, it's breaststroke next, not mistake. Yeah, this this stroke is known to be the one that's the definer of the winner of this race. Yeah. And it looks like Sam Richardson is off to a very good start in that. 50 breaststroke. He is digging it now. You can just see it moving. He's moving very fast. Lane six looks good too. Yep. Hopkinton. That's Sam Cody. Lane six gets it off to a good freestyle, a good fly here. I think we could at least two three this event. Of course, Paul Richardson bring it in. The Richardson brothers. 
Sean Kelly down there in lane six. And just hitting the water in lane six, Rachel Zale. Yeah, she looks fast. Yeah, a lot of the uh, Hopkinton swimmers are wearing their fast suits today. Yeah. Looks like um, you had a you got a big two, battle for fourth place here. Looks like Hopkinton just won that one. There we go. That was Ian Holmes in lane four. Yeah, great race. I, I just saw a strange thing happening here. I, I couldn't, I, you know, I, I, I watch these races all the time and I, I really think Hopkinton came in second in that race. Uh, I couldn't tell, uh, lane one. Yeah, I think, I think it was Ashlyn, Hopkinton, Hopkinton. Okay, and good. I think we only score th in the th first three. Th three on the relays. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so setting it up for the 200 freestyle. Um, lane, lane two, Jake Glover. Lane four, Grace Cavanaugh. And lane six, Lydia Franklin. Lydia is one of the seniors on the team. And tonight happens to be senior night, so we'll be enjoying ourselves watching the senior festivities. I'm, I'm thinking right after the right after the dive. 200 freestyle, four four lengths of uh, wait a minute now. Uh, eight eight, eight lengths of the pool. Eight lengths of the pool. Look for lane four, Grace Cavanaugh. It's off to a very fast start there. She's keeping right with him. Yep. As usual, the Hopkinton team is a very spirited team, has won numerous awards for sportsmanship. Throughout the years, Coach King holds it very high. It looks like this uh, young man from Ashland in lane three is lengthening it out a little bit. A little bit, he's got a great stroke. He looks like he's, in, he's got a nice rhythm going. I mean, one of the keys to this race is just to keep your rhythm and not burn yourself out too early in the race. Absolutely. You see, you see in the foreground, Coach King exhorting his team. I don't think the swimmers can see any of it, but <laughs> it makes them feel better. Well, I think one thing that has made the Hopkinson team great throughout the season is they have they have really good depth on their team. Absolutely. So while they may not win each race, you know, you can certainly count on maybe a second, third, and fourth finish. Yep. Which ultimately helps them win a lot of meets. Yep. I think it's um, it's going to help them tonight because I think Ashland has, at the top of their team, has very strong swimmers. And um, I think we're witnessing it here in the first two races. And then, of course, the diving helps Hopkinton. Excellent diving. Yeah, they've had, they've had a good diving squad for a few years now. So it looked like second and third again. But I am the worst when it comes to figuring out who won <laughs> and lost the race. Yeah, I think, I think Ashland clearly won it hands down. Yes. And I think we may have gone 2-3-4, which, 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 which helps points. us pile, exactly. piles the points up. Yep. Okay, coming up uh, now we have the 200 IM. Um, lane four, Sam Richardson. Lane two, Emily Wee. 
and uh, lane six, Abby Fisher. <coughs> now Emily's coming back from the 200 medley relay where she swam 50 into this 200 IM. So she's warmed up. Yep. <laughs> and the um, the matchup looks good for Hopkinton in this in this race. It seems. Starts out with a 50 fly, which is fly being my favorite stroke to watch. Yeah. It's when it's done when it's done well, it's beautiful. And it looks like that guy on lane three has a pretty good fly. Yeah. Once again, Ashlyn out to a strong start. Hopkinson's in sec second and third at this point. It could be that way tonight. There is a boisterous crowd here at the yep. Aquatic Center. It truly is. Now, what's interesting now, in the last few years, they've made a change in terms of, of how swimmers can make that back flip turn. Yeah. They no longer have to make that crazy back flip turn. They can turn around and make a front flip. Yep. Which I think completely speeds up the race. I agree. Yep. Yeah, you can really only make one stroke, as far as I know, right, at the end. That's right. The turn, yep. Okay, it looks like Hopkinton, second, third, and fourth, heading into the breaststroke. Yes. This one I might be able to get there, linked down <laughs> here. <laughs> but once again, uh, uh, the first place is being being raced by a guy from Ashland. And Ashland is very good at the top of their top of their lineup. Well, our our guy is uh, in lane four, certainly closing the gap Sam, on the breaststroke. Yep. 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 See what he's got left in the tank to finish this race. Now he just swam before as well in the 200 medley, so he's nice and warmed up. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Ashland first place. Let's see if there's any races out here. It looks like um, there's a race for fourth sneak here. Sneak I'm not sure. Yep. So Ashland first place, second, third, and fourth for Hopkinton. That could be the story of the night. I agree. I don't think go. that's going to bode very well for Ashland over the course of the entire meet. Agreed. Yep. Okay, so the next up, I'm thinking is the 53, yep. And then in uh, lane two, Austin Schofield, lane four, Paul Richardson, and lane six, Rachel Zale. In this, in this event, there'll be two heats. Um, typically, um, in, a, in a big meet like this, they'll have second and third heat. The first heat is the point scoring heat. Yeah, this is probably the most exciting race in swimming. It doesn't last very long, but it's usually a, a real barn burner. Absolutely. And the swimmers from the 200 IM are finishing their warm down. And we're about to get underway with the 53 first heat. As I mentioned, lean two. Austin Schofield, lane four, Paul Richardson, lane six, Rachel Zale. It seems like a lot of the Ashland swimmers are wearing their knee suits too.
look for lean four to get off to a fast start. Tighter. Just about even I at think the turn. The turn. Yep, yep. It's coming down here. Let's go. So Talkington's got about an arm's length. Paul Richardson, he's got it. Yes, he does. Great race. Looks like second and third went to Ashland. Fourth went to Hopkinton. Lane two, Austin Schofield. Now for the second heat, um, we have uh, Julia Altman, lean four, Ashley Pearson, lean two, and Kyle Hall, lane six. Yeah, we have three seniors racing in the second heat. I'm sure that um, because it's senior night, um, Coach King decided to let them get some water underneath them. Yep, tonight. take some opportunity to showcase, showcase the seniors. hear the crowd uh, exhorting Ashley to make a race of this. Looks like Ashley's making a move here. And Kyle in, the, in lean six. And Kyle's uh, Kyle's way out ahead Kyle's on this, ahead this heat. Yep. There you go, yep. Be interested to see what his time is relative to uh, any times in the first heat. He was fast. Yeah, he, I, I showed a 27 too. But that's just my eye there. Generally, these uh, second heats are for kids that are trying to showcase their get into the first heat. This is a great sign of uh, sportsmanship here as a um, challenged kid from Ashland. The entire, the entire stands are up cheering. Good for her. Absolutely. Well done. Yeah. Okay, so uh, now we're going to head to the break for diving. <coughs> as the as the way I understand this is, uh, we'll do they'll do the diving. Um, then we'll um, and then we'll. So we're going to take a, a short break while they realign the pool and come back. Jim's going to give us his in-depth knowledge of all the diving celebration <coughs> and come back for the second half of the meet. We'll see you in a few minutes. Um, I think so tonight, uh, you know, what we'll see is we'll see six dives from each competitor. Um, we've got three divers that will score for Hopkinton, and it looks like Lizzie Toronto will be our fourth diver. And as a senior, we just want to showcase her. Um, it is back dive week, so therefore each diver will be required to do a back dive, and then they'll be able to get into all of the other dives. Uh, generally, they should have to cover four of the other four categories of diving, either reverse, inward, a twisting dive, a forward dive. Looks like Lizzie will be doing a back dive. 
straight position. Four and five for Lizzie. Good job, Lizzie. Maddie will be doing a back dive in a pike position. One of her stronger dives. Well done, Maddie. Eight and seven from the judges. Good dive, Mary. You know, I know typically I've heard that there's always two, two, uh, three judges. Uh, tonight it seems like there's two. There Any are two. Yeah, sometimes they go with two divers. Let's watch what the Ashland diver does. Back somersault, straight position. Six and six. And I believe that they, they factor in a third point somehow, and I and I think it may be the average of the two okay. as, as a third. Back dive pike for Lissy. Good dive for her as well. Nicely done. Eight and a half, eight. Judges reward a really nice dive. But the way the diving is scored is you know, is they'll take the three scores, combine them and then multiply it by the degree of difficulty of the dive and then add that all up. Okay, yep. Back somersault, straight position from the Ashland diver. Six and a half, five and a half. Aaron Howe, I think Aaron does his back dive in the straight position. Looked like he had a couple nice ones in his warm up, so hopefully he'll now, he's also a swimmer, I think. He does. He yep. swims a 50 free. Yep. Multi-talented. Yep. I was, I was calling him the Swiss Army knife of the <laughs> Hopkinton swim team. Back dive straight. Aaron, nice top on that dive. Six and a half, six and a half. <coughs> Back somersault tuck for Lizzie. Now a little off to the side. She may get judged down for that. Four and four. Reverse one and a half somersault tuck for Maddie. She's just started doing this dive in competition. So hopefully she can get it in on her head. Ah, quite a bit long. Five and a half, five and a half. Pretty far past vertical on the entry. Half pike from the Ashland diver. Not a bad effort. Six, five and a half. Let's see, back one and a half pike. This is a good dive for her as well. Look for her to get at least sixes on this dive. And she will certainly do that. Seven and a half, seven. Well done, Missy. Back one and a half pike for the Ashland diver. A little short. Six, five and a half. All in all, not bad for that dive. Four one and a half 
pike for Aaron. Expect some good scores out of this dive. Very clean on the entry. Six and a half, six and a half. Back dive with a half twist for, for Lizzie. Back somersault, excuse me. Sorry, back dive. Four and a half, four. <laughs> Emma, one and a half somersault tuck for Maddie. She's recently converting this to pike, but competing it in tuck today. So I'd like to see her get this one in nice and clean. Very long on the entry. She was up higher than she is normally accustomed to being. Six and a half, six and a half. She'll take that. Four double pike for the Ashland diver. Clean. Five and a half, five and a half from the judges. Same dive for Lissy Annenberg. Four or two somersaults in the pike. This is typically a very good dive for her. She has great form and gets it in the water beautifully. Seven and seven from the judges. Good job. Four double pike for the Ashland diver. from him as well. Expect similar scores. Six and a half, six and a half. Four, two and a half for Aaron Tuck. This is actually a pretty good dive for him. Gets it up in the air. Just a little short. Five and four and a half. <laughs> and we're dive tuck for Lizzie. I'd like to see her rip this. Good job, Lizzie. I think she's going to get well rewarded for that dive. Five and a half, five and a half. Five and a half. A back somersault with two and a half twists for Maddie. She gets it in the water a little bit long, but all in all, a good dive. Five, six and a half. We're really judging on the entries tonight. up here on the description of the dive. Should be a forward one and a half somersault with one twist. Very nice dive from the Ashland diver. Six and six. <laughs> and one half tuck for Lissy. Also a, a good dive for her. Typically very clean on this dive. Just a tad long, but I don't think it's going to hurt her that badly. Six and a half and seven and a half. Four 
full twisty one and a half for the Ashland Diver. And I snuck it in there. Four and a half and five. Inward one and a half for Aaron. I've seen him do this dive. I know he can get this on the water nice and clean. A little tight to the diving board. The judges may mark down a little bit for that. Five and a half, six. We'll take it. Typically, the judges don't like it when you're that close, close to the board. Yeah, yeah. and they they will that they can deduct if they w if they so choose. Forward dive straight for Lizzie. Four and a half, five. Four and a half, five. Nice dive, Lizzie. Double twisting, so <coughs> excuse me, double twisting somersault for Maddie. Generally a good dive for her. She gets in the water pretty clean. A pair of sevens for Maddie on that dive. Very nice. <laughs> Back one somersault, one and a half twist for the Ashland diver. Very nice dive. I think she'll get well rewarded for that dive. Six and a half and seven. Back one somersault, two and a half twist for Lissy Annenberg. A very difficult dive, but something she can do consistently time and time again. A little bit long. Expect some good scores out of that, though. Ooh, four and a half and six. The judges were not quite in agreement on how to score it that. Sounds one. like it, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Inward one and a half tuck for the Ashland diver. Big strong kid. Just a little past vertical, but I, I really think it was a nice dive. Six and six and a half. The judges agreed. Full twisting somersault for Aaron. I'll tell you, he did a nice job of getting that dive in the water. It's difficult to control the entries on these feet first dives. I'm thinking, uh, look at Seven, and I didn't hear the first score, but he was pretty well rewarded. Forward somersault tuck for Lizzie's last dive. Nicely done. A little tentative on the entry. Four and five. Good job, Lizzie. If Maddie's got a four double pike coming up. She's been executing this dive really well lately. So hopefully she'll uh, make a good dive out of her last effort here. She's gonna she's gonna pull out some nice scores for this dive really well. Well done. Nice and vertical. Pair of seven and a half. Nice way to finish the meet for Maddie. Somersault tuck to finish up for the Ashland girl diver. <laughs> Just past vertical, but really all in all, not a bad dive. Four, six, six. Pair of sixes from the judges. She had a good meet.
double twisting somersault for uh, Lissy Annenberg to finish up her day. Another good dive for her. Uh, pretty well past vertical on that. She'll probably get marked down a bit. Although it looked great in the air. Four and a half, four and a half. Probably not how she wanted to finish, but I think Lissy had a great meet, quite frankly. Ashland Diver, Boyd Diver finishes with an inward dive pike. A little past vertical. He split the entry on his feet a little bit. Six and a half, six and a half. The judges didn't seem to notice that. He had a really nice meet as well, I have to say. First dive tuck for Aaron to finish up his day. A little bit long, but nice in the air. Great top on that dive. Six and seven. <laughs> and it looks like the Hopkinson swim team's got something going on for the divers. Oh, yeah. Is that a prom invitation? It's a, prom, it's a proposal <laughs> happening. A prom proposal. All right. Well, that makes everything a little more exciting. It looks like he said yes. Yeah, it sounds like it. Now he needs a towel. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the end of the diving. Oh, there's a camera camera operator yeah. coming. I'm sure in a few minutes it'll be on Instagram. Well, nice job done by uh, Emily Schmidt. Oh, Emily Schmidt. Emily Schmidt. Yep. And one for the fans here. There you go. I hope the camera people got that. <laughs> and you see Maddie and Lissy photo bombing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Good job to the divers. A great, that was a good event all the way around. It looks like, based on my knowledge of all the Hopkins divers, they all had a really good meet. And uh, you know, the Ashland divers were very competitive as well. So I think the scores are going to be pretty tight relative yeah. to where this finishes. Now, how does it work for them that they had two divers and we had three? Is they that may going to help us? They may only. Well, yeah, it does in the sense that they only have two divers. Therefore, we're guaranteed a third place, gotcha. re regardless. Okay. Um, I think it'll be very close, but I'd be surprised if Lissy and Maddie didn't take the first and second position. Got it. Um, right. We just have to see. Yep. Uh, they, they, they have a few harder dives in there. They've got more dives with higher degree of difficulty, and they were pretty consistent with them, so I expect the scores to be a little bit higher for, yep. for Maddie and uh, Lissy Anneberg. Now, I think we'll stay on for a second because I, I feel that um, there's going to be some senior night activities taking place. Senior night? Um... We're going to stay on. We're going to stay on here for a few minutes. We can um, talk about how it looks going into the second half of the meet. Of course, um, I think it's going to be close. It's going to be a very close meet. Usually, we have uh, the chance to get the scores up via a text, but um, I think the texters are parents of seniors, so they took the night off. <laughs> <laughs> Rightly so. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's good. I don't know. Maybe we should. Maybe we should go for a second. Yeah. We'll be right back. Okay, we're uh, just participating here a little bit in the senior night. Uh, during the break, Dave Franklin told me that. Um, Hopkinton before the dive was up 33-29. And yeah, I got Jim, I got word from Maddie that yeah. she won the event with 251 points for six dives. So I imagine Lissy was, I mean, she had to have been by her by a matter of a few points. Yep. Behind her in second place, and so you know that that'll give us a two-three finish. Or excuse me, a one-two finish. That'll board well for the second half of the meet. Extend our lead out a little bit. Absolutely. Yep. Okay, so what we have happening here now um, on the far side of the pool, <coughs> we have a senior night. As Jim mentioned, it's very exciting for the parents and students of the 
seniors. For the non-seniors, it's a little less exciting. <laughs> But, but nonetheless, uh, it gives them it certainly gives them something to look forward to when they yep. get through to that point. Yeah, one of the things um, I've always been impressed with with the Hopkinton swim team is they have a very tight group. They really do. And um, the seniors really do a great job of leadership, keeping the younger kids in line. I would agree. And just even from uh, personal experience with Maddie, you know, for the second year on the team, the camaraderie on the team is, is just uh, over the top. Yeah, I agree. They do a lot yeah. together. They care for each other. Um, yeah, it's really, it's really fun to watch. Yeah, one of the things I have to say, um, Bridget, my daughter, um, second year in the team, and she, as a parent, it's a little tough sometimes having a senior drive your daughter home. But I've learned to, I've learned to embrace the fact that I don't have to pick her up at ten o'clock at night. Ah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, you just, I don't even think that, you know. I just think of all of these kids as being. Super smart, super responsible, great kids. Yep. So now on this side of the uh, pool, these, the parents are lined up. And on the other side of the pool, the, st the student athletes are lined up. And um, I'm sure that it's sort of bittersweet considering Reese isn't here. But I'm sure he's in a lot of people's thoughts at this moment. I would agree. I'm certain the team will do something nice for him as a whole team at, at when he gets out of the hospital. Now, so I think the, the process is that each senior one by one goes through the goes through the gauntlet. Yep. And comes around and has a, a, a photo op with their parents and some flowers. And I think in years past there was a tradition of a little bit of a backside slap. I think they've I think they've ended that tradition. So Brian King just announcing the two seniors, Jimmy Johnson and Reese, who could not be with us tonight. Yeah, the Richardsons have quite a quite a legacy here in Hopkinton swimming. Yeah. A lot of seniors. I didn't realize there were that many on the team. You didn't realize that just means we're going to hear a lot of speeches at the end of yes. the, at the banquet. <laughs> at the banquet, yeah. <laughs> next year, there's very few juniors, so we can look forward to next year. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that means for the team itself, but uh, I have to say... Hopkins is starting to build up a, a very nice tradition in swimming. Yes. I know I know in the swimming side, the um, there's a couple of very good uh, girl <coughs> freshmen yes. that have done a very good job this year. They have to first pass uh, Jim Brainerd, the diving coach. He's never t that tough to miss with uh, the colors that he wears at these meets. Yeah. And then they go past uh, Kathy, the assistant coach, who's also the coach of the Westboro club team at Westboro Swim and Tennis. My girls have swam for her back when they were much younger. Yeah, my, my daughter swims for Evo, which well, she, she's involved with the Raiders. That's correct, yeah. yeah. My, my kids all swam for the... Stingrays, Milford. Nice Good. show of sportsmanship by the Ashland team, who are all uh, all standing. Yep. Yeah, and it brings up the point that we're, the season is sort of winding down. One more, one more meet. And then we're into the championship and then we're season. Into the championship season. Yeah. Friday night versus Weston at Weston. 
Okay, well, we'll be watching that from the cage. Yes. I was going to say, it's a little different pool than we're sitting in right now. <laughs> we're watch we'd be watching it from the cage at the end of the... At the other the end, end of the, of the pool. pool, right. Exactly. the promposal, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Coach King playing a little game of names with uh, yeah. Sean Kelly. It seems like he's leaving the captains for the end. This is one, she's one of six captains. Right. I think that they were all doing a, a bit of a uh, hug at the end of the pool prior yeah. to, prior to coming through the, the archway. And they say no running on the pool deck there. <laughs> There you go, Aaron. Freestyler, diver. And Lydia Franklin bringing up the rear. Last but certainly not least. senior night for the Ashlyn team too? Oh, perhaps they are. Looks okay. like they will be. Yes. So we'll be doubly blessed tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder I couldn't get a parking spot. Yeah. Now I wonder if th this must be their officially sanctioned senior night. I see the the banners on the end of the pool there. Yes. Yes. Looks like it. As the Hopkinton parents exit the pool deck to be replaced by the Ashland parents. By looking at it, it doesn't look as though Ashland is graduating quite as many seniors. Which obviously bodes well for their swim team next year. One, two, five in the diving. That's fantastic. Okay, yep. Yep. As Dave Franklin just came over and indicated to us. We uh, placed one, first and second and fifth overall in the diving, which, as we mentioned before, should uh, extend our lead out a little bit going into the second half of the meet. Yeah, we have very scientific methods here in the, <laughs> um, in the 
Aquatic Center to get information about the meet. I don't know what we're going to do next year without Dave Franklin. <laughs> okay. okay, we're lining up now for the 100 backstroke. You want to you want to read it out? Uh, Emily, go right, go right ahead. Emily Wei, lane four. Young Young Jung Kim, lane two. Olivia Hanrahan, who just celebrated her senior night, lane six. Hundred fly. Oh, I got it wrong here. Hold on a second. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Hundred fly. Young Jung Kim, lane four. Rachel Zia, lane two. Sean Kelly, lane six. This is the 100 fly. Yeah. You'll see lane two. Look for lane two to make something happen here, although this is a mixed race. Well, it looks like Ashland, as, as usual, is off to a pretty, pretty strong start. Absolutely. We've got, uh, they got some length on those kids. Yes, they do. And once again, we've got Hopkinton Second, at the third, turn, second, third, and fourth. With 50, lap, 50 yards to go. This is a tough race. I'd say this is the 200 IM or probably the two toughest races in the meet. Maybe the 500. Ashland swimmers, first place started to fade a little bit. Yep. But it uh, looks like he's going to take it into first place, no problem. Lane five looks like she's moving. It's, it's a race for the fourth place, but it looks like two, three, four go to Hopkinson. Okay, the lineup for the 100 free. You want to call them out? Or it doesn't matter. Paul Richardson, lane four. Grace Cavanaugh, lane two. Jake Glover, lane six. Once again, this is a co-ed meet, so we have the boys mixing in with the girls. Now, can I ask you, do you know the rules around co-ed in terms of how many boys versus how many girls have to swim in each event, or is it? I really don't know the answer to that. I imagine there must be some standard that has to be met. I agree. <laughs> I'm supposing that the, the lineups are pitched out before the meet, and uh, the coach is kind of Mix and match a little bit. So it looks like we're going to go two heats of this race. Yes. In the second heat, we have Emily Schmidt, Shane Horseman, and Logan. Logan Salyards. Oh, I'm sorry, not Logan. Logan. Oh yeah, Logan Salyards, yep. Mm -hmm. It looks like we're just, the judges and the timers are just getting themselves squared away here. The meet official comparing some notes. Once again, we have the lineup. Lane two, Grace Cavanaugh. Lane four, Paul Richardson. Lane six, Jake Lover. Based on Paul Richardson's uh, performance in the 50, I would expect him to have a great race here in the 100. <clears throat> and of course, Ashland has some, looks like some tall, skinny swimmers in lane one here. Tall, skinny, and fast. Yes. Four lengths of the pool. Once again, Ashland's out in front. Not the one I, just, I said was going to have a great race, lane three. Lane three is way out in front at the 50-yard mark. Hopkinson second and third. Second and third, and it looks like we're going to have a great battle for fourth place so far in this race. Yeah, I agree. Out in lanes five and six. Yep. 
I know that's Jake Glover out there. Yep, he's gonna have to turn it on just a little bit here. He came out nice in that turn. If he could just breathe left and see where, see where his competition is. It's coming down to the wire over there, lane he's six. making a last push for it. Boy, that was tight. That was very it tight. It looks like Ashland may have touched him out. Yep. Okay, so we have a second heat in this event. Um, Shane Horseman, lane two. Emily Schmidt, lane four. Logan Salyards, lane six. As the swimmers uh, wind down, um, we, we can mention that we had said before the break that um, Hopkinton was up after the first half of the meet, after the 50, 33, 29. And then we heard uh, from Dave that the divers, what did we say, two out of one, two, five. One, two, so five. That, would, that would net them up another seven points. So that would put them at uh, 40, 29 after the diving. Yep. I'm glad to be in the booth with the numerologist because <laughs> I don't get all the numbers. <laughs> I think if I did, if I if I know that if I have the scoring correct, yep. I get six points for first place, four for second, three for third, two and one. Now it, it just wonder. I just wonder here if they're going to do an actual third heat here. But no, they're not. Okay, so they have the 500 uh, swimmers lining up too. Maybe maybe 40, 30 after the diving, something like that. Yep. As we mentioned earlier, a lot of the uh, swimmers are in there. And, uh, I call them a fast suit, but they're also known as a knee suit. And um, I think Coach King sent out a message to the, some swimmers this week to wear the fast suits today. Yeah, oh, it, uh, Maddie certainly had her game face on coming to the meet. I think uh, that was from the top down. Absolutely. I think it's uh, in typical fashion, you know, Hopkinton versus Ashland. Right. You have the football game, the basketball games are all well attended. As we mentioned, this is um, the second heat. It isn't for any points, but kids want to do, every, every kid that gets a chance to go in the pool wants to do well. Looks like there will be a third heat of this event. No, I think that's the 500 lining are they, up. Are they lining up for the 500? Yep. Because yep. my daughter, Bridget, here in lane two is. She's a 500. She's a 500, yeah. Okay. Well, we've got a pretty exciting race going on in lanes four, five, and six. Nice to see this kind of uh, tightness in the race because typically it will result in a personal best for somebody. Absolutely. got the 500 coming up next. This is a, uh, a true endurance test, 20 lengths of the pool. Lane two, Bridget Belger. Lane four, Abby Fisher. Lane six, senior Lydia Franklin. Swimmers who excel at this race just seem to somehow effortlessly, effortlessly slip through the water and 
and never lose their pace for 20 lengths. I'm always amazed by that. And off they go. There you go. And as expected, the Ashland swimmer is starting this race as though he's swimming the 50. Yeah, I'm, I'd be surprised if he can keep that pace up. Yeah. But there's a mental component to it. And now like he's always. Now he's slowing it down a little bit. Established the lead, and now he's establishing his rhythm. And who do we have in lane four? Lane four, we have Abby Fisher. She looks like she's off to a good start. Okay, we have uh, Bridget Belger, lane two, Abby Fisher, lane four, Lydia Franklin, lane six. I expect the times to be somewhere in the five, you know, mid five minute mark. Yeah, for the, this um, race. The school record on this is 505. I, I don't think, uh, 505 for the girls. I don't think that'll happen tonight. But the 558 is the sectionals time. For the, I always look at the girls, the girls to sectionals. Quali to quali <laughs> qualify for the sectionals. For the qualify for the sectionals, right. yeah. 549 is the state qualifying time. Lane three, uh, the guy from Ashland has slowed down a bit. Yeah, I think he's he went out very fast on purpose just to establish a lead and then shifted down. Yep. As you can see on the right side of the pool there, um, the teammates are have a board that has the number of laps that they're just finishing. Coach King frantically uh, circling the pool. Yep. Cheering on his swimmers. I can pretty much guarantee that no swimmer can see Coach King. <laughs> I think he thinks they can. Yes. <laughs> and I understand he does watch these videos, so but he watches them with the sound down. Right. Right now we have, uh, looks like one, two, three, Hopkinton, Abby Fisher, Lydia Franklin, Bridget Belger. I think, no, actually. Or two, three, we, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, yeah. three, four. Yeah, yeah. I'll get it right someday. Yeah, it goes back to our earlier point, which is um, it's the depth, really, that's, that helped, that's going to help us win this meet if we win it. You notice there's no second heat for this event. Yeah. There's nobody really wants to. <laughs> nobody wants to. <laughs> Not that many yeah. people that want to swim, swim the 500. <clears throat> you see Coach King standing next to the coach from Ashland who are both exhorting their swimmers. <clears throat> Now the swimmer in lane three is leaving an opening. He's basically swimming very slowly. And Abby Fisher, who does have a kick, second half kick. Yeah, I just, I have a funny feeling he's probably just saving himself for some later race in the meet. I expect he could probably swim this a bit faster if he wanted to. I could be wrong. He's got a very nice stroke. A 
Yeah, Abby Fisher looks great. <clears throat> it's going to be tight between your daughter. I know. I'm seeing this. Yeah. She just needs to hang. Oh, missed the turn a little, but she needs to hang in there and finish strong. Another 100 yards. We got the bell. Lane three. Now the Ashland swimmer uh, is now making a big kick. So he will win going away. And we'll be looking for that fourth place. There we go. 50 yards left. 50 yards, we've got to keep an eye on lane six as well. We'd like to lane see six. her pulling in, yep. Yes, exactly. This is tight. It's gonna be tight down All the, the swimmers, are, swimmers are going wild on the sidelines. 544 right now. Come on. That's what I had. Yep. That's a great race. That was a good race, yep. Okay, as Jim mentioned, there won't be a second heat for the 500 free. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have a couple of relays coming up. Um, 200 freestyle relays. We have two heats of this. In lane, lane two, lane two, Grace Cavanaugh, Sam Richardson, Austin Schofield, and Paul Richardson. Lane six, Rachel Zale, Jake Glover, Abby Fisher, Aaron Howe. Now that's gonna be an interesting one. Abby is coming right off the 500 to go into the 200 relay. And lane four, Emily Schmidt, Zach Holbro, Kylie Salyards, Emily Trudeau. Well, you'd like to think at this point in the season, the swimmers are in great shape. She hopefully can handle Absolutely. that transition pretty well. It's 50 yards, right? Yep. So it's a sprint. And she's swimming the breast. Oh, uh, uh, no. Uh, butterfly. Looks like it might not happen that way. I can't tell. Boy, if it is, I'll tell you what, she's been given a tall order for the day. Oh, yeah, here she comes. Yep. <laughs> she let her have a drink of water. This is an exciting race as well. Four 50 yard sprints. Well, Hopkinson got off to a very nice start. Pretty even at the first turn. That's Grace Cavanaugh, lane two. Rachel Zale, lane six. Emily Schmidt, lane four. Once again, Ashland is out in front. Pulling out here at the very beginning. Grace had a nice race, nice uh, leg there. Sam Richardson is now in the pool. Looks like we have a, we've got a pretty good race heating up here in lanes five and six. Yeah, they made a turn exactly at that. the same time. Yeah. Hopkinson closing the gap here a little bit in lanes two and three. Have Austin Schofield is in there in lane two. That's Abby Fisher in the far, in, the, in lane six, just finishes the 500. Look at her. She's still wheeling and dealing over there. Well, Ashland's opened up a huge lead here in the third leg. 
I'll tell you, it's tight between lanes two, two, five, and six right now. It's going to be very tight. And then keep in mind, in a relay, only one through three scores any points. That's right. So this is an important race. This is a very important race for Hopkinton. Looks like we're uh, pulling it out here in lane two, which is great. Got Aaron Haub bringing up the uh, bringing up the rear on lane six, and he's just going to get touched out for fourth place. A two three. Uh, 2-3 for Hopkinton. Good for them. Now you saw that. I didn't see it. <laughs> I did. Okay. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Now we have a second heat in this. Um, lane, lane two, Ray Lucas, Stephanie Capellos, Kelly Burke, Caitlin Salyards. Lane four, Kaylee Cohane. Mercedes Lahai, Jack Brennan, Sierra Schlissel. Lane six, Trevor, Megan Halloran, Maggie Miller, Ashley Pearson. We're still finishing up one racer here on uh, in lane two. Yep. Lane one, excuse me. It's a great sign of um, sportsmanship here. Obviously a physically challenged girl from Ashland. Good for her. I'm going to clap for that one. I agree. So Hopkinton again showing its depth. Looks like there's only going to be one, one team from Ashland versus three teams from Hopkinton in this second heat of the 200 freestyle relay. Now I'm just hoping that the Abby's, or is that Abby or Grace isn't gonna swim in this race. Um, lean two, Ray Lucas, Stephanie Capellos, Kelly Burke, Caitlin Salyards. Lean four, Kaylee Cohane, Mercedes Lahai, Jack Brennan, Sierra Schlussel. Lean six, Trevor. That's all I have is in terms of the name. Megan Halloran, Maggie Miller, and Ashley Pearson. Oh, there is a second, there is a, no, it's not. Is there a, does Ashland have a lane five? I don't see it. I don't see There's anybody over there. There's a swimmer there waiting, I think. Just, uh, just, just lane three, I think. Yep, yep. <coughs> the depth of this Hopkinton team. Well, I think Coach King gets a, uh, gets a lot of swimmers at the beginning of each year and you know, it's a uh, it's a real blessing for him. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you know, I think as the team does better and better over the years, more and more kids are going to want to come on the team and swim for him. Now, Coach King is doing what he does. He's at the scorers' table, figuring out the end of this meet. Yeah. He is a master chessman. He's checking over there with Coach Terry. Maybe, maybe we'll have to identify a scratch or something in the final, final go round of this meet. We are in the final stages. There's a little hold up by, uh, I think he's doing a little math over there. It's making sure that the uh, Ashland coaches have the decimal in the right place. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Bill Belichick wishes he had called um, <laughs> he called Gronkowski in that last play. Exactly. Maybe if he had checked it twice, it might have happened for him. All right, it seems like uh, at least Coach King is satisfied with whatever it is they're working on. 
So hopefully we'll get this second heat underway. Absolutely. We'll call it out again. Uh, lane two, Ray Lucas, Stephanie Capellos, Kelly Burke, Paitlin Saliards. Lane four, Kelly Cohane, Mercedes Lahai, Jack Brennan, Sierra Schlussel. Lane six, Trevor, Megan Halloran, Maggie Miller, Ashley Person. Mostly f uh, freshmen, sophomores, with a few seniors mixed in. I don't know what the holdup is, maybe the satellite. I think we're going to a TV timeout. Yeah. that now Jim you want to say you want to yeah uh, it looks like we're, we're getting some commentary that uh, just uh, based on the history of these two schools together and Ashland and uh, Hopkinton used to be a combined swimming program uh, so on one hand the coaches are are very good friends between coach King and the uh, and the Ashland coaches and but as well now that they're you know separated and compete against each other it's a, a highly friendly but highly competitive uh, event so you can see that everybody wants to get it right. I'm, it's going to be interesting to find out what this was about. <clears throat> it was funny, Jim, the first time I announced, uh, for some reason, I guess, all the lane assignments got mixed up because um, the coach, I think, of Natick said that he was unhappy with the uh, treads on the uh, diving boards in the different lanes he was in. So I guess he's able to, since he was the visiting team, he's able to call a foul and choose his lanes. Choose his lanes. And so all the Hopkinton kids were all messed up. And on the press pack, all the names were wrong. It was quite an experience. Yeah, and I, it's, it, well, interestingly enough, you would say that at this level, it's doubtful that that's really going to make too much of a difference in the ultimate time of the uh, time and performance of the swimmer, unless it was just so slippery that uh, kids are, you know, slipping and falling yes. in the pool at the start. The swimmers are anxious to get out there. Well, you know, you don't want too big of a delay because, you know, they've kind of gone through their routine and they've warmed up a little bit and they've sort of gotten their mental and physical warm-up and process and uh, this kind of takes them out of their process just a little bit. Yep. Okay, he's ready to announce there it. There we go. It's Ray Lucas in lane two. Kaylee Cohen, lane four. Trevor, lane six. Into the pool, Stephanie Capellos, lane two. Mercedes Lahai, lane four. Megan Haller in lane six. Lane two, Kelly Burke. 
Lane four, Jack Brandon. Lane six, Maggie Miller. Looks like the Hopkinson team is uh, once again making a nice display of their depth. And the team spirit is out today. Senior night. Yeah, it really is. It's great to hear the everybody cheering. Yeah, you, you know, I noticed that the you know the enthusiasm even in the second heat is just the same as it was for the first heat. Yep. Now bringing it in, lane two, Sierra Schlussel. Looks like it's going to be one, two, three, Hopkinton. Well, hold on. I'm sorry. It looks lane like the uh, Ashland two. Ashland fourth swimmer here is putting on a big push here. Yeah, it could be tight. Need a strong finish. That's going to be up to Ashley. Yep, she just needs a little bit of a kick here. A little Make bit of a happen. kick. Come on, Ashley. Oh, just touched out. Half a second. Touched out. Yep. Okay, we're on to the 100-yard backstroke. I'll tell you what, that was quite a finish that by the Ashland team but because they were way behind after about uh, two and a half lengths of the pool. That kid can two and swim. Half, yeah. Yep. It's one of those things I always tell everybody, you know, when you have a chance, take it. All right. Okay, so here we go, um, 100 back. Is this, isn't this 100 back? Yeah. Okay, uh, lane four, Emily Wee. Lane two, Young Jung Kim. Lane six, Olivia Hanrahan. Olivia's senior, senior night hoping for a win here. Very st stiff competition. Referee must have seen something there. I'm not sure what it is he was looking at, but yeah. uh, had to make a restart. It's not making the Ashland swimmer swim any slower. No. <laughs> Lean three. Uh, this happened a couple of meets ago. I, I think it was Natick. Unbelievable. He's, I mean, he won the meet, but he's, they put a show on the top of the order. Yeah. Hopkinton running second and third. Who do, we, who do we have here in lane two? In lane two, we have Young Jung Kim. Boy, if he makes a strong finish, we'll go two, three, four again, but he's going to have to pick it up just a little bit. He's got to pick it up. Just needs a good kick here in the last lap. Come on. Oh, he's right there, I'll tell you what. Yeah, it didn't look like it, but yeah, he's back. Yep. Young Making Jung a great Kim, kick. Lane two, kicking. Looks like lane one is starting to fade just a little bit. It looks like we'll come in with a two, three, four finish. Fantastic. We can use that. Now we have two, two heats of 100 breaststroke. Lane two, Sam Cody. Lane four, Sam Richardson. Lane six, Tiana McCann. Yeah, we're thinking that that promposal was actually Tiana. But we got it wrong. We got all, all the names wrong. We we sent out to the booth and they screwed it up. But well, we know it was Aaron. <laughs> we know it was Aaron. <laughs> that we do know. Sometimes the feed comes through garbled. <laughs> Lane two, Sam Cody, I think he's a freshman. Yep, lane two, Sam Cody. Lane four, Sam Richardson, he's a soft, uh, sophomore. And Tiana McCann, who is a junior.
we need a good showing here. Yeah, I agree. Uh, this meet is by no stretch of the imagination over. Well, it looks like we're off to a great start here. Yeah. I tell you, when this when this um, stroke is done right, it's very fast. It is. Okay, halfway through, it looks like Hopkinton's. What you're seeing is Sam Richardson doing that stroke right. That's correct. It's a good, strong finish, and he should pull it off. Now I'm hoping that lane two, Sam Cody, can pull through here. He can make a strong finish. Maybe he can beat that lane five swimmer. Looks like we're going to wind up one first. Four, one four. One four. Yeah. Well, not yet. Yeah, it's got it. One four. Good race. It's nice to see us pull out a first place finish every nice. once in a while in the pool. It's been a while. <laughs> On the boys' side. So um, we have a second heat here. Uh, lean two, Sarah Kang. Lean four, Leah Yenawine. In lane six, Amanda Mack. That was good. I'm seeing Sam Richardson's father here saying it was a good race, and it looked very good. Yeah, he seems pleased. He's reviewing the film as we speak. Yes. Nodding his head. It's looking good. Now there's a slowdown here in terms of getting the times from that last heat, the first heat in the breaststroke, back to the timetable. The diving coach coming over, he's well dressed tonight. Yes, he is festive. Festive. Well, he's just back from the from the Caribbean. Uh huh. Extending the vacation a bit. All right. What's interesting is that, you know, we have the electronic scoreboard up there. Um, but it doesn't appear as we have any kind of touch pads here that we yeah. are able to use. So, so much of this is done manually. Just takes a lot, a little bit uh, extra effort, and a little more time. Sarah Kang, lane two, Leah Yenawine, lane four. Amanda Mack, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, Amanda Mack, lane six. It's the second heat of the 100 breaststroke. As we mentioned, these swimmers are they're trying to get noticed by the coach, trying to have a personal best, which we always talk about in swimming. Ashland showing a little bit of depth in this uh, in this category. Yeah, I'm wondering if that gentleman in lane five was the same guy that killed in a couple of couple of races ago. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Yeah, but they're doing a good job here today, right now. three in that heat for Ashland. Yep. 
Now we're lining up for the 400 free relay. Lane two, Grace Cavanaugh, Abby Fisher, Jake Glover, Emily Wee. Lane four, Zach Holbro, Mallory Pishoff, Colin Thine, Caitlin O'Connor. And lane six, Lydia Franklin, Austin Schofield, Sean Kelly, and Bridget Belcher. Just eyeballing this race, I would have to say that uh, Ashland's probably gonna have to do something special to, uh, to win this event win this meet yeah I agree it would be great if we had a little an update update but uh, the technology isn't allowing it coach King working the scoring table he's got the need the list the lineup of who's available on the bench Giving some last-minute words of uh, words of wisdom and courage and encouragement and advice to his swimmers. Lean two looks very tough. Grace Cavanaugh, Abby Fisher, Jake Glover, Emily Way. I think they're. I think he might be gearing for a um, a record in that lane. Let's see what uh, what the current record is. I wouldn't know how to read it for a um, mixed event. Well, that's true. But we'd be expecting something in the uh, kind of the 320 to 340 range, somewhere between there. Absolutely. can expect Ashland's off to a great start as well, but it uh, looks like Hockington is right there neck and neck, first and second. Got a great race going on for second, third, and fourth. Oh, excuse me, for third, fourth, and fifth. Just need to uh, keep everyone consistent, swimming fast. Cockington has pulled ahead slightly in lane two. And is pulling ahead nicely in lane four. And I think a 1-3 finish will probably put, uh, put a nice bow on this meet for Hopkinton. Strong start for Jake Glover. Turn for Jake. Looks like he's starting to put a little distance between himself and the next person back. Now who do we have anchoring this race for us? Which 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 lane? In lane two. Emily Way. Emily Way. She looks pretty fired up. Oh, this is all screwed up. They, he must have made some late changes. That's not Emily Way. That's Lydia. That's Lydia Franklin. Lydia Franklin. Oh, she's flying. Ashland is fading here in lane uh, in lane four. In fact, we make a good showing here in uh, in lane three. And we make a good showing in lane four. We may wind up catching. Uh, 
possibly not. I think the Ashland anchor is uh, going quite fast. for the Hopkinton team. There you go. Come on, thank you. A one three finish. One puts three. A, puts uh puts a nice bow on this uh, on this meet for Hopkinton, I think. Absolutely. Should help Hopkinson remain undefeated in the TVL. Absolutely. That's just a great meet. Great meet highlighted by senior night for both teams. Yeah, we're gonna wait. We're gonna stay with you're gonna stay with us. Get the meet results for the network before the network feed comes up to get the results to tonight's meet. Looks like somebody may have uh, made something there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You won't have to wonder if that wasn't a record-setting uh, performance, given the hugs and the high fives going on. Yeah. They really did look fast. Yeah, it was funny because the the press pack had a different lineup, so it made it a little difficult to follow. But regardless, the Hopkinton team did very well. Here comes the cheer. I'd like to say that the cheers really haven't changed probably in the last 150 years Absolutely. here at the end of these events. The seniors nice. come by again one last time. Nice job by both teams. In true fashion, since uh, we're sticking around, since the this is the Ashland Hopkinton, it would be like leaving in the third quarter on Thanksgiving morning. <laughs> I'm sure the final tabulations are. It won't take too long. We'd take too long. We should be doing this on a running basis.
Coach King giving the Ashland team coaches a big hug. Once they give the score, um, we can, we'll cut off. But Jim, I want to tell you it was a very enjoyable experience. Very fun for me Pulling as well. The game. Very fun. All in the meet. Learned a lot about diving. And um, it's always fun. It's, it's a different experience. Yeah, it definitely is. No, I really enjoyed it. I, I, I would certainly do it again. Absolutely. And we appreciate the work of our camera crew as we try and kill time. Um, Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, I think this, uh, f from a Hopkins' perspective, keeps them undefeated, basically, certainly in the TVL, um, which I think uh, has some significance coming into the end, end of the season. Absolutely. As, as I mentioned, according to Maddie, this was a must-win yep. for the team. Bridge of the same. Coach is over there giving some, uh, you know, some uh, some encouragement and. Add a boys to his team over there. Maybe he'll cancel practice Thursday night. <laughs> no chance of that. And actually, we have the TVL championships are right here at Keith Tech this year. Oh, really? Yeah. I believe they are. Which that should be a very interesting uh, for the spectators anyway, because we'll have a lot of teams here and it'll be pretty well packed in. Absolutely. Makes me wonder if they'll hold the diving separately. Um, yeah, I, I wonder about that too. I thought it said something on the schedule. Yeah. Um, Diving will be Saturday 2-6, 5.30 start. Swimming will be Sunday, the Keefe Tech 9, 9 a.m. start. That's for the TVLs. So they'll hold the diving separately. Yes. Um, which, which is, is a plus and a minus. Which is, which is fine. You know, yeah. I, I imagine the coach will have the entire team showing up here to watch Absolutely. the diving. Yep. And uh, so that'll make it great. Yeah, Absolutely. They might even get a couple of spectators. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'll be here. Yeah, I know you will. <laughs> As we mentioned, the team, uh, Hopkinton's swim team, very tight group of people, great senior class, great captains. Reese Donahue, Lydia Franklin, Olivia Hanrahan, Aaron Howe, Sean Kelly, Emily Schmidt. Great group of captains this year. The assistants are doing the tabulating here. And um, we're feeling pretty good up in the box as to what this final score will be. Yeah, I, I think even though uh, the majority of the races in the pool were won by Ashland, I think Hopkinton had enough races where they were finishing 2-3-4 three, or 2-3 uh, that they were just amassing points over time. Exactly. Um, a little bit of help by a 1-3 uh, a finish in the 400 freestyle relay and a 1-2 one, a one finish in the diving, uh, I think kind of put, should have put that over the top for the team. Absolutely. Once again, uh, we are waiting here at Keefe Aquatic Center for the final score of the Ashland Hop Hopkinton um, rivalry swim meet. This is almost like Patriots Jets. <laughs> this is like Celtics Lakers of old. Cel Celtics Lakers of old, yep. Well, 
Looks like we should be getting ready for an announcement here. Seems like most of the tabulations have been done. Coaches have gone off to their respective corners. You're going to hear some cheering once this is announced. It's interesting. Coach King knows exactly what the score is right now. Yeah, and he doesn't. He looks pretty relaxed over there. Yep. hoping they're not calling the police to come in and control the crowd. <laughs> oh. uh, clearly, everybody's uh, interested in hanging around and waiting for the final, both uh, Ashland and Hopkinton fans alike. Love to get somebody's attention on the deck to at least get the thumbs up or thumbs down. look like really the, the officials are in any kind of hurry to announce the final score of this meet. Dave, any have any idea what the final score was? 98-88. 98-88 Hopkinton. Hopkinton. Great job. Okay. Wonderful. So it was very nice to meet you, Jim. John, Take nice care. to meet you. Thanks, we'll thanks for you. having me. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. Thank you. Jim.